lights go on. And they go out. Away we go then. Not a particularly good start from the pole position man, but Adam Walker's got away nicely. So too has Tom Gadd up into second place then as they head down towards Richie's corner for the first time. Is that Ben Huntley mm -hmm. up to third place as well as they sweep through Richie's for the first time? It looks like it is. Uh, Tom Gadd that's actually got the lead of the race, has he? Yes, he has. He's got ahead of Adam Walker down the inside into the Wilson hairpin for the first time. That's 26 Murphy Aldridge who started towards the back after his incident yesterday. So he's looking to try and make up places up the order. He's already ahead of the pole position on David Williams. Yeah, that's absolutely right. But if you mentioned Ben Huntley made a great start up into third, possibly second, not quite actually. He's still there behind Adam Walker. Uh, one of the more experienced drivers to the outside is Sam Satchwell. That's Matt Higginson, yesterday's winner, alongside them already. So he's made the best start of the front runners from yesterday. As Tom Gadd scampers off into the distance, Higginson's into third. So this is a brilliant start for Matt Higginson. He's going to be second before much longer because for Gore and for Pollard and Wedham, they're not that far up yet. No, they're not. We uh, will keep an eye on them, of course, but it's still... Uh, Tom Gadd leading and of course this is a great opportunity for him to put some daylight between himself in the pack We saw how quick he was yesterday even despite that damage to the car that was a uh, minor miracle That he managed to even complete the race There's been a spin for number 95 David Tag who started on row six as Matt Higginson makes a move here on Adam Walker Up the inside into Brundle Walk has the line though for Nelson But in the end Higginson can go around the outside that's compromised Walker as well And he's losing two possibly even three more places as a result of that yeah, into third now is Craig Pollard. Sam Sackville is fourth. And I think Dan Gore's going to go fifth by the looks of it. So they're making their way through, but Gad has got away. That's what he needed to do on that opening lap. And he could turn what could have been a bad weekend into a pretty good one potentially here. So he crosses the line as the leader at the end of one lap. There he is as the rest of the field blast past in the Superbike. The liter engines powering them up the straight. And it's 2.2 seconds, the gap between Gad and Higginson to look out for. Craig Pollard is third. Sam Satchwell made a pretty good uh, opening lap there. He's in fourth position ahead of Dan Gore. And then Ben Huntley, who initially made a good start, he's dropped back there into sixth, just ahead of last year's champion, Rob Wellham. And uh, behind them, uh, we can see the battle there between David Williams and... Uh, that's the 18... 17, was it? Chas Hyten, Chas Hyten, yeah, it was. So we've got the... Cars coming down towards Agostini Hairpin as well. That's Sam Satchel going well in fourth place at the moment. Gore's going to lose a place to Rob Wellham then, who threw one up the inside at Agostini. Has he got the line for Hamilton as well? They're still more side by side. No, Gore manages to sim off there in car number 80 in fifth position. Wellham, last year's champion, as we've said, is right with them though. I suspect Sam Satchel possibly just not quite as quick as these two behind him. We're backing them all up into one another. We've got, uh, I think, Murphy Aldridge now just behind Rob Wellham as well, up into seventh place at the expense of Adam Walker. So he also, a quick driver, had a couple of podiums at Croft at the last event. Gad it is that still continues to lead. Hard to tell whether that's still 2.2 seconds. I suspect, though, Josh, it's not. There's now this gap that's opened up as well to the new fourth place man, which is Dan Gore, having made that move at Brundle. Yeah, he's just got past the much less experienced Sam Satchwell, who only started racing last season. So he's there into down to fifth. Joining in now is Murphy Aldridge, I think, at the back of this group. So he's made a great start from the back. Wellham dives down the inside of Satchwell through Corum, which is pretty impressive stuff. So he's gone up to fifth, which has dropped Satchwell to sixth, which is the same position I think he finished in yesterday, which equaled his season best. So the lead gap has been half pretty much on that first lap. The Higginsons on a charge. He said yesterday how he is now really starting to get to grip for this car, he's enjoying it much like he enjoyed uh, winning in RGB all those years ago. But Craig Pollard going with him, standing the fastest lap of the race, 148, 9 for Pollard, impressively. Yeah, very good indeed. So 1.24 seconds first to second, Murphy Aldridge and number 19 Sam Satchwell going side by side for sixth position. I think Aldridge in the red, white and blue car is going to get that done. Yes, he does. And he goes up into sixth position there for Ben Huntley who was briefly in third and is now back to eighth place he is uh, challenging as well so he's looking to get back into the kind of positions he was occupying yesterday he finished fifth yesterday his best result so far in the championship so this is Satchwell versus Huntley through Hamilton down towards the uh, very tight right-hander at August. Then they head to Williams, and then they're back onto the Bentley straight once again. Ten minutes of this race left to go.
Yeah, so Higginson's pace suggests that he should be able to catch guard, but we we see uh, on just lap three of the race, there they are. It doesn't seem to come down to perhaps as much as it did a lap ago, or maybe uh, not quite as significantly. Rob Wellham under threat from Murphy. Aldridge, you can just see, he's got so much more power, so Wellham is struggling, and this is really going to hurt his championship chances, I think. He couldn't afford any more poor races. OK, he may get to the end of these races, Ian, but he hasn't got the pace. Certainly not in a straight line, where Murphy Aldridge blasted past with ease. He did indeed, so still that battle for Sig goes on behind. As Murphy Aldridge now through, he's got a little bit of time to make up to try and get on terms with uh, Dan Gore, though, as the top two, top three have gone through. The gap's going down another four tenths of a second to uh, 0.84 seconds now. Yesterday's fastest lap was a 145.5, was it? Uh, 148.5, beg your pardon. We we're to 148.47 now for Higginson. So he's gone three and a 148.39 for Pollard. Yeah, Craig Pollard's done two fastest laps on the trot and only a couple of attempts outside the lap record and Higginson's with Gad. So Tom Gad has been caught by Matt Higginson. So we've got a battle for the lead. A very different type of race starting to develop compared to yesterday. So Gad, Higginson, they're separated by two points in the championship. Craig Pollard, who's not really in the championship hunt in P5. He's third in the race. He'd desperately like a win in F1000 over the course of the season. Oh, Higginson had a huge twitch there through Hamilton. But we, he, uh, Pollard has a chance here with a battle developing up front. You've got uh, then the Sellers run car of Gad ahead of the Mattel run car of Higginson and then Craig Pollard who runs the car with assistance I think from Graham Gaunt, the uh, former Formula V champion as Craig Pollard is himself. And in Higginson, that twitch has just dropped him back a little bit from Gad and very much has put him under pressure and Pollard who's so close to the back of Higginson you can't see his car until he pulls out the toe on the left hand side of the circuit. That move would be probably more possible in Formula V than it is in one of these cars Ian. Yep, so uh, Pollard there really pushing on here. He's got the fastest lap to his name in this race so far. Next Ben Powney car that he's in. He's turning his way through Corb now. Higginson's put a bit more daylight between himself and, uh, and Pollard in that sort of sequence of bends through the bomb hole and, and Corum though. They're going to come through and end the lap once again. This is the end of lap four. So we're getting towards half distance in this race now. Gap first to second was 0.84, it's now 0.57 as the cars just flash past the line at tremendous speed. We've got a car that stopped out on circuit though. Is that the nine car of Ryan Thomas, I think? Yeah. yeah. That is on the inside of Oggies. So there'll be a yellow flag there for a lap or so, I should think. So a shame there for Ryan Thomas, who's uh, a newcomer this season from Cumbria. But uh, Gad, the leader, Higgins in second, Pollard third. Now they are battling the lap time to go out, one out into the 49s. Dan Gore, who's five seconds behind them, is quicker, but uh, they've got a gap to catch. And Murphy Aldridge and Rob Wellham complete the top six. And Wellham perhaps struggling for pace more than yesterday because he has Sam Satron and Ben Huntley chasing him at this stage. But these are the leaders heading down to, into that yellow flag zone at Oggies. But uh, then they were coming into the green zone and we saw how close Pollard got to Higginson here. Lapper go again. Higginson takes a wide sideways line through Williams, trying to carry the speed through. But uh, you could think much opposite lock might hurt him if uh, that happens. On the fifth lap, the three of them in a chase back. Again, Pollard gets closer by the end of the straight in the toe after Higginson's slightly lurid line at the previous corner. But it's not enough for Pollard to challenge it. No, and we're coming to a part of the circuit where it seems that Higginson is possibly a little bit quicker uh, as well. So these three are a long way clear of the rest. Dan Gore is more than five seconds adrift now in fourth place. Murphy Aldridge is in fifth, not really catching Gore. And Rob Wellham is sixth and oh. lapping a couple of seconds slower at the moment. And then it's Satchel Huntley, Walker and David Williams rounding out the top ten as we're coming through to complete lap five. Yeah, Higginson hopped over the curve like a touring car, which probably is uh, not particularly advisable in these single-seater racing cars. But uh, nevertheless, he closed in on the tail of Tom Gadd, just four tenths of a second between them. Just saw their flash through uh, our shot across the line. Rob Wellham, Sam Satchel and Ben Huntley involved in a battle uh, for sixth position. But the leaders turning their way down towards Palmer. But Gad has held on despite uh, Higginson getting that good run a moment ago. Then Pollard behind, the three of them down towards Agostini on lap six. Yeah, heading towards this uh, left-handed hairpin. Gad, the American football enthusiast, K 
continues to lead the way here from Matt Higginson in second and Craig Pollars in third. Three 750 Motor Club champions doing battle here together. Higginson yesterday said he was starting to sort of feel how he did in the RGB days when he was so successful in that category, uh, winning lots of races and championships. He's just getting that much more comfortable in the car now than he has been over the first sort of year and a half of racing it, where well, he's still been, uh, been learning it against some very competitive uh, opposition. Won yesterday, of course, currently in second today behind Tom Gadd, who just uh, scraped uh, a seventh place result yesterday after starting at the back. And again, Pollard, through that part of the circuit, has gained on, uh, on Higginson. Higginson losing out to Gadd, but that might well change over the next few moments again. Let's see if that is the case. They go through the bomb hole now towards the long right-hander at Quorum. This time he sends that Pollard is able to keep the pressure on uh, Higginson a little bit more. Heading up to Murray's. Let's see if he uses the curb again. We won't in fact because we're getting the view from the pit wall camera here as the cars are about to flash through to complete lap number the six. Fastest lap for the leader. Tom Gadd, a 1 minute 48.31. He didn't have the pace on... La oh, it's Higginson's off. Higginson, a big wide moment over the grass. Where has he ended up? Well, he's ended up back on the track, but he has lost second position. That could have been a big moment. Uh, well, it was a big moment. It could have been a big off for Matt Higginson there, all over the grass. So Craig Pollard into second there. And after that mistake from Higginson, just after Tom Gadd set the fastest lap of the race, a 1 minute 48.31. Craig Pollard into second, but back under pressure from Higginson. Dirty tyres or not, he has so much pace coming out of Palm. He's gone around the outside of Pollard here into the hairpin, but he breaks wide on those dirty tyres on the wide line. But he's still there. They're side by side now for three corners, basically. And Higginson on the outside through Hamilton does it. He stays in front of the title line for Pollard, was not the one to be on. He ran out wide. So Higginson holds on to second in all of that, Ian. But to that, oh, we've had a big incident behind. I'm um, afraid that's into Agostini, I think, but uh, up front it's Gad with a big lead now over Higginson and Pollard. Yeah, we've had one of the cars, I'm afraid, off into the barrels. Just taken the rear wing off. I don't think it's as bad as all that, but that was seriously impressive from Matt Higginson to go wide over the grass. It looked like it could have been a very big off, as just says it was a big off, but he got back onto the circuit. And not only that, but he then immediately challenged and got second place back away from Craig Pollard. So that's serious commitment from Matt Higginson. There's some more commitment because he was sideways there through uh, Nelson. That's allowed Pollard to challenge through the bomb hole and Pollard in car number 92 goes back through to second place, all of which is allowing Tom Gadd to make a bit of an escape. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a couple of minutes on the clock. But uh, we've got that car off the circuit up at Agostino. It's driving standards flags going out as well. There's Gad. He's got a huge lead over Pollard now. Some five seconds. That's quite remarkable, isn't it? Over Pollard and then Higginson after uh, those couple uh, of moments. And the race being stopped. Red flags are out and red lights are on. And that will be because of that incident, I would think. And we'll give Higginson second back. Yes, it will, because the results will go back to the end of lap six, I would think.